Hi, my name's Elisha, and thank you so much for watching this video on the making of the five octave theme song. The music you are hearing in the background of this video is my own take on one of my all-time favorite theme songs from one of my favorite TV shows. It's called Ashes of Love. The music you are hearing was created, produced, recorded, and directed by myself for this project of the five octave theme song. As many of you know, Rachel and I love to watch Chinese TV shows for Chinese practice. There's so many good theme songs of all these TV dramas. I want to take a couple of them and I just want to share with you some of my very favorites. We're gonna start with the TV show called Ashes of Love. It has an epic theme song covering over five octaves. The original doesn't actually cover five octaves, but if they were to have a like a male female do it, they would have covered five octaves. So I wanna do that version that I always thought it should have been or that it could have been. The theme song that we're covering is from the TV show Ashes of Love, one of my favorite TV dramas. The actual theme song is called Upwards to the Moon or Dou Shou Ju Ye, which means Upwards to the Moon. However, the actual meaning of this song has no translation that is helpful. Unless you've actually seen the TV series, it would not make any sense whatsoever. So I'm not going to include any of the lyrics or the subtitles or the captions in this video so that you can just enjoy the experience of the five octave theme song. So what is an octave? An octave is basically when you play the same exact pitch, but a little bit higher. Or if you are talking in terms of frequencies, it's actually the frequency that you're hearing, you double that frequency, and that becomes the octave up pitch. Just because a singer can sing more than two octaves doesn't mean that it sounds good. Um, I am a perfect example of this because generally I only practice in two octaves so that generally the stuff that falls outside of those two octaves sounds really, really bad because the more the more you practice, the more control you have over your vocal muscles. I was kind of worried about doing a project where I need to cover more than three octaves and so what I decided to do is not give a care. And what I'll do is I'll record over and over and over and I'll just try and try and try and if it sounds horrible, then you guys just have to live with it. But it is for science, so suck it up, buttercup. One of my favorite singers of all time, his name is Dimash Kudabergen, and he has over a six octave range. There's a huge difference between me and him in so many ways. One is he can sing over 13 languages, that he can actually control his voice in all of those octaves. He actually, he can sing higher than the piano. He's also classically trained, and he is extremely talented in several instruments, and is worldwide acclaimed. One time Dimash was on The World's Got Talent, and he sang this amazing song, and somebody said, just because you can do it, doesn't mean you should. That did not apply to Dimash, however, it does apply to me. So I just want you to know, I know that I shouldn't sing like this, but this is for science, this is for fun, this is for my friends, this is for giggles this is to show respect and this is just to see if I can and this is just a challenge to myself can I sing five octaves can I do justice to the song <laughs> the answer is probably no to all however I'm gonna have a great time doing it and I really hope you guys have a great time thank you so much for watching this video I hope you found it interesting please let me know if you have any requests or any ideas I'm gonna leave but I want you to enjoy the rest of this Arhu solo that I wrote just specifically for this song